four man rush. Plenty of time and to his outstanding tight end Austin Hoopson. Hogan again with time and he can spin it. Got this one out for a first down. Four wide outs on first down. They are fully capable running this multiple offense of spreading the field and sending McCaff to the top of your screen. He'll get the throw a little high. Trying for a quick. Hooper makes a great target down here. He's in a tight end. Instead, they're going to throw for McCaffrey. And passing game, he's just taken some off of the ball. Realized every pass didn't have to be perfect. McCaffrey on this. Inbacker because Collins Ellis went out with concussions. And they just really liked what this young man saw and did right away. And right. Long for Hogan. Five-man rush. Hogan flushed. And they got it. He runs out. He'll read it, read it, read it. There's the hole I go. It's like a running back. This young man who was four upsets in their time. And the Hokies play awfully well at night in Blacksburg. Nice move by Hogan to get away from pressure. Room to run, throws instead and incomplete. Oh, Worth was open. Yeah, and it, look, it looked like Hogan maybe rushed this just a touch as he threw it, but this is a 17-yard gain. Just missed it. From its own 43. Hogan, quarterback draw. In the route tree for Hogan. Last 11 plays, they've been held under 10 yards. Three-man rush. Hogan again, pocket collapsing around him. He got the pass out for driving. The second and seven. Hogan under pressure again, and down he goes. The Our viewers or anybody expected this. Hogan goes to work, throws underneath, and complete. Says Mike Stanford, Lottie. Stanford now 235 to go in the half. Can they get something going on offense again? Rollins until the end if you can. Outside of the one drive, Northwestern has done a great job against this offense. Set. Four-man rush. Hogan under pressure throws and that would be cool. No, but an interesting thought. <laughs> Hogan rifles this one in there and same time as the ball and we'll see if Hooper is able to hang on to this. We're watching it in slow motion. So it may look wow that was a really good timing he wasn't there too early. Hogan under pressure throws almost different than a lot of people. With that defensive front from Alabama I don't know how uh, easy sledding that's going to be. Boy, for that's for sure. Hope when we play Oregon what happens against those guys. To the sideline, that looks like for 61 yards in this game. Here comes more pressure. Hogan gets away, throws on the run, and a beautiful deep throw this, and it gave Van Hoos time to get there. Good pressure up the middle by uh, Northwestern, and you see that ball, not quite a tight spiral, was there a little. Blitz coming. They don't get there. Ball's thrown up, out of bounds. Boop than their counterparts from Stanford, who look just worn out. Hogan's really got to get it going. They're here, he's coming off of an off-season ankle injury, but he's a very good wide receiver. Hogan steps up, and right in the arm. It's one of those, the ball hangs in the air forever, and you talk to receivers who say, I just did, not, not a great spiral. Most receivers say they'd rather catch a ball that isn't quite a clean spiral, but the mistake there, letting that ball come all the way down to the body. you got to get to second and ten. Hogan looks left and throws right to McCaffrey. McCaffrey spun down at the 48-yard line. His position. Gunned over the middle and dropped again. It makes it that much more difficult. Three-man rush for Northwestern. Hogan throws and it's intercepted. Into the middle. And you, you just saw the body move there. I'm not so sure if that... Hogan throws, almost intercepted. Defensive line and Hogan were knocked down, and it's the pressure that I think makes the throw. Hogan just fell away from that. He chopped, looks like he may work that side. No safety help. Four-man rush. Good protection, throws on an entry beside him and four wide receivers. Hogan. Deep and incomplete. In the conference, Eddie's only 50% today, 12 out of 24. Good time here, and Hogan throws again. That ball may be out of bounds, and it is. Not sure that this ball wasn't tipped. Nope. 
necessarily. Third and ten. That ball tipped a little bit as it came out, and it's going to be about four yards. Straight running back and suffocating defense, so I think they'll be yeah. right. Pretty much tells you it's not going to be a problem. This could just make used one of those timeouts. Remember when they came back from a break and couldn't get the play in? So they're down one timeout. Clock running again, 2.54. Throw underneath to McCaffrey. He's not got a bounce. Been within four yards of the line of scrimmage with a guy who was really good on the long ball last year. And down goes Hogan. You are going to have to get outside. Awfully impressive. Mike Hankwitz, the defensive coordinator. Mick McCall, the offensive coordinator, when we were talking to them yesterday. You go back to the 2000. Done this for so long. This has got to be one of the best performance for his defensive unit ever. This pass caught on a comeback route by... I think Northwestern could end up in the mix in the West from what we've seen. Four-man rush, they throw underneath, had the completion in the first down to Austin Hooper. Absolutely. Hogan, deep out, Kajus makes the catch. And we kick a field goal from here, it might not be a bad way to go. Hogan with time across the middle into double coverage. Yeah. Got a hold of the arm. Just it. Excellent. Hogan six out of six on this drive. A snap that bounces to him. He throws underneath. And Owusu makes the catch. Nice scrimmage and Bernie Moore clock. Ball's loose. Hogan. 105 left. Hogan out intercepted picked off by Kate.